Chairperson, our Honorable Special Guest Engineer, Kose Sade, Chairman of the Nagaland Electricity Regulatory Commission, and his wife, Ma'am Bikali, sponsors, staff, and students of the Tso College, and of course, our dear freshers. It is an honor for me to welcome all of you to the 30th Freshers' Day Salvet 2024. I thank God for this beautiful, sunny day and for all the lights here in this amphitheater. This year we have admitted approximately 770 students into Tetzel College. They have joined various programs, including the latest program, the Bachelors of Music, which is the newest addition to the courses that we offer. And so far, with your arrival, Freshers, we are impressed with your attendance and with your attentiveness and commitment to this program. As you've all come dressed so beautifully and so well groomed, I'd like to request all the Freshers to kindly stand from your seats so that we can all see your beautiful faces and just acknowledge your presence. All the Freshers, can you kindly rise from where you're seated? Thank you. Let's all give them a round of applause for joining the Soul College and completing their HSSLC exams. Thank you. You may be seated. The college community takes this time today to wish all the freshers a very happy Freshers Day, and I hope you all have a very memorable time today. I can see that the student council and the student, the seniors, have all been working tirelessly and have been working so hard to make this day special and memorable for you all. Please remember to thank them for their sacrifice and efforts that have all gone into making this day special for you all. I also like to mention our gratitude to the sponsors for today's events for making this day even more memorable for the students and for your generosity and kindness and support to the Ditzo College community. Thank you to all the sponsors who have generously given in cash and kind and given their time to groom and mentor the freshers of the day. Every year, we bring in special guests to address the Ditzo College community so that they can share their knowledge and their expertise with us. Today we have a very well-educated, a very wise and accomplished, yet very humble man as I've personally known him, a respected chairman of the Nagaland Electricity Regulatory Commission, former chief engineer of power government of Nagaland, and who is also a family member of the college as a member of the governing board of Denso College. Engineer Kose Sami, I thank you so much for taking out your time to come here and address the Tetsuo College community, and we look forward to hearing from you. To the entire Tetsuo College community this morning, I'd like to take this opportunity to share a few thoughts with all of you while we're gathered here in this manner. It is so hard for us to gather together as a whole now that we are larger in number. So I take this opportunity to share a few things. Freshers' Day is more than just a one-day event. But it started from the day the preparations began. It is a huge exercise that involves every department in the college, from the support and service staff, to the IT and media department, to the administration, to the faculty, and of course the students. The processes involved in this have led to, I can see, a lot of teamwork, coordination, cooperation amongst everyone. And it has been so heartwarming to see everyone working together, adapting, and now functioning so seamlessly to organize events here at Tetsu College. I hope that during this process, you've been able to build new friendships create stronger bonds, and also have more varied experiences. 
which all eventually lead up to character building. Looking back into the past, once upon a time organizing events at the Tso College was not as easy and comfortable as it is today. I remember a time when students and staff had to literally carry the benches and desks out into the grounds and tie the desks together to make a stage, a platform for the students to speak and perform. It took so much of more human resources and effort and time and energy. And just creating a stage itself was a huge feat. As we all know, with time, progress and development has occurred but it has not happened overnight at all. The Tso College has come a long way. And it is truly blessed, and it is thanks to the founders of the college who built it in 1994. The people who have come and contributed at the Tso College over the years, and have rendered their service to build it into what it is today. Let us remember them during these moments and take time to appreciate what we have been gifted. So what do we need to learn from this? Two things, I believe. Number one is the hard work, the discipline, the resilience, and the consistency over time that has reaped its rewards. The Zoe College is proof of this. Number two is to value what we all have here today. Please do not take things for granted. Appreciate more. And take the opportunities that come. While you're here at Tinsel College, I urge the freshers and even the seniors and all our staff to use your time wisely not to focus on the negatives of life or being too critical of everything around you. There's a tendency in our society to do this. But instead, let us cast our thoughts on brighter things or more positive things. And let's focus on improving things around you and ourselves every single day. Honestly, the very sense and the model of the Tso College is built around experiences, exposure, exploring, and adapting to a changing world. And this is exactly what our founder had in mind, our late Dr. P.S. Flory, when he established this college. His background comes from this very model. Coming from a small village in Pinchinun's Miyo district, he went out beyond Miyo to Kohima, which is akin to a student going outside of Nagaland to study. And beyond Koyma, he went on to Delhi, and from Delhi, he went to the United States on a Fulbright scholarship to pursue his PhD. And after his studies, complete, after the completion of his studies, he came back to Nagaland and established the Tso College with the exposure and the learning that he had. And this is why we are all here today. So, this is a reminder to the Tso College community to understand the world around you, to be global citizens, to please remember what you are all here for and why you chose Tso College or why Tso College chose you. I believe that there is a plan for every one of you here and we're all meant to be here for a reason. All of you just need to discover a path and also act while we live in the present, I remind you all to keep on remembering to keep planning for your future. We are all global citizens living in a global, fast-changing world, and so we must learn to adapt. Although it is not exactly a race, we also do not want you to be left behind. We do not want you to be left behind while your friends move forward, but the reality of the fact is that we will all be at different places at different times in our lives. But the lesson here is that we need to keep moving and growing and developing and upskilling. I really look forward to the performances and speeches that you all will be performing up here today. 
one of the things that really sets the Dill College and the students community apart is the distinctiveness, the distinctive feature that sets them apart from the rest. And one of the reasons why this distinctiveness becomes formed is because of the opportunities that the college creates, that your departments create, that your faculty cre create for you. We have had international collaborations with universities across the world. We have a lot of co-curricular character building programs and events, conferences and seminars, student exchange programs, faculty exchange programs, and so much more. We have students from all over Northeast and even staff from all over India to bring this diversity together in this one place that's on college. And today we have alumni placed in different places all over the world. With all of this, we sincerely believe and we know that you can all become great, accomplished, and successful people. And one day come back and contribute to our society. Our vision, which is for all of you to create a positive impact in this world, we hope that you will be able to feel, fulfill this. And so with this, as we begin, uh, officially, we welcome you the freshers. And as we are in the middle of the semester, I wish all of you all the very best, and I hope that you keep on striving for excellence. Thank you.